Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's talk about some Game Boy modding. Right now there's a ton of great options to mod your Game Boy. Anything from backlighting the screen all the way up to IPS mods, backlit buttons, flash carts, all these things take power. And the Game Boy Color, and especially the Game Boy Pocket, sometimes can't keep up with these power demands. The only way to fix this is by upping your voltage. There's been some ways to do this. There's add-on boards that have been sold uh, from varying people, but Helder's Game Tech has come out with an option that is a very simple drop-in, three solder points, good to go. And we're gonna take a look at that today. I wanna to thank Helder's Game Tech for sending me a few for review, and I'm actually gonna buy quite a few anyways. Helder, if you don't know, has been behind the Minty Pie along with Pseudomod Wormy. Minty Pie, if you haven't seen it before, is basically a portable emulator device built into an Altoids tin. I'll leave a link in the description for Helder's Game Tech website as well as uh, Pseudomod Wormy. And then I'll also uh, post a uh, card up here or here for a uh, Minty Pie build that I did uh, with some of the parts from Helder's Game Tech. All right, so I got the two boards. Let's head on down to the garage, do some soldering. Alright, so here's my uh, two devices that we're going to be working with today. This is a Game Boy Pocket that I have. I already got an IPS screen in it. Game Boy Color I'm working on um, at the LED board from Natalie the Nerd. I'm also going to be putting in a Q5 IPS screen in that. That build's almost uh, done, not quite. I'm going to have the Kirby shell, um, but this Game Boy Pocket does suffer from some of the problems, mainly because I use it with a flash cart, and that's adding additional drain. Only have those two AAAs in there, so it really, really needs this, but so does the color. And there's the two different ones, blue for the pocket, white is for the Game Boy Color. So let's go ahead and start working on it. All right, so we'll start with the Game Boy Color. A couple parts we need to remove. Um, this last leg on the right there, that number seven, needs to be completely removed. Uh, and that is the DC power board. Um, I'm probably gonna use my Hako and remove this, just suck the solder out. Actually, I might just do the whole uh, thing, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. Why not? When you have the tools, why not take it off? And then on the front, we've got to take off this one capacitor. So that's really all we have to do as far as removal. It's Hako time. And it just pops right off easy peasy now it's going to make it a lot easier for me to get at and remove that number seven leg all right there it is removed i basically just snipped it with the flush cutters uh, real easy just snip it and it comes right off so just going to put the dc power board back on this is something you actually don't need to do if you're doing an ips mod you can actually leave it out but I'm just gonna leave mine on, why not? All right, just a quick solder back in of that DC power board. All right, that looks good. All six soldered back in. Time to move on. Flip it over and take a look here at the front. We need to get that capacitor off. All right, so look at this capacitor. You got two points. There's that one on that side and the one on the other. You just basically have to heat it up and pry it off. I like uh, apply heat and you can also twist to uh, whatever makes it come off quicker. Just uh, make sure you don't rip it off. It'll come loose, just apply heat and it'll pop, well, it'll pop right off. All right, there we go. Probably gonna do a little bit of additional cleanup here on these pads. Uh, get out the Hako, suck all that out. All right, 
right, I'm pretty happy with that. Nice and cleaned up. And on to the board. All right, so the board just drops right in. You can see it's gonna need to be soldered to the first pin right here on the top and then the first one on the other side and the bottom on the other side as well. I know, maybe overkill. You don't need to do it, but I like to get all the solder out before I apply new solder into the same area. All right, so the key here is just get the first one kind of pinned down and then nothing else will move when you get the other two pieces soldered in. Just get that one in, start with that, move on. All right, so that should be good. Now I'll go ahead and get the top one here. Really doesn't matter what order you do it in, just make sure you get them all in there. Tiny bit of solder really doesn't take much. All right, so it's all soldered in, all done. You got those three points and we are done. That's all it takes. All right, moving on to the Game Boy Pocket. So this one has two capacitors right here. We're only gonna take off this big capacitor. The smaller one stays. Board is very similar. This one though does have the pins like you would normally see them. Normally you don't have that plastic there, but uh, so this pin, top pin on that right side needs to come out. It's pin six on the Game Boy Pocket, pin seven on the Game Boy Color. We use the flush cutters to go ahead and clip it, snip it out, which is what you could do on the Game Boy Color if you had it without the uh, plastic piece. But so I think I'm just going to get the Hako on it here real quick. Uh. All right, easy clip off, and the leg is disconnected. All right, now to remove that large capacitor, once again, just heat it up, give it a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a pull. Don't rush it, it will break free. And off it comes. All right, now to put on the board, there's the Game Boy Pocket Board. Same basic idea. You've got two pins to solder on one side and one on the other. And it's going to fit right in here underneath that capacitor. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and clean those up with the uh, Hako. All right, same as before, get that first one pinned and then everything else is going to fall into place. All right, and that's going to get that side down. And that is it. All right, so taking a look at it, there you go. You can see those three points are soldered in. And we are done. Let's uh, go ahead and, oh, focus problem, go ahead and <laughs> take that and put it into the Game Boy. All right, so here it is, finished product in the Game Boy. And let me tell you, even with the flash cart, I'm not having any problems with background hum, noise, uh, any kind of flickering from the IPS screen, just perfect. I'll also put a link in the description for this game. Uh, definitely check it out. But thanks for stopping by. Talk to you guys next time.